Welcome to my channel, my name is Ed Budd. You found a video of my first initial impressions on foot of the Nike Vaporfly 4% Gaia Cusa. Hey guys, so it's going to be a 10k 6.2 mile time trial. So guys, I've noticed a little bit of fuel slipping on my right foot. Um, it looks like the fuel kind of cut is in a slightly different place on the uh, on this version of the vapor fly. It's out kind of behind on the uh, rather than inside surrounding the heel. What's going on the outside seems a bit odd, and I think that's where the problem is. It's not hurting, but it does feel like it's slipping a little bit, so something to uh, take note of. Hey guys, just taking a bit of a breather. It's impossibly windy conditions, so I'm in my mind. I'm trying to process the uh, the feel of the these new vapor flies against how hard I can kind of push against the performance, really, um, which is which is tough. It's just so windy. Every direction I turn, it seems like the uh, wind's blowing at me. I think it's kind of swirling around. So. Uh, Gonna complete the 10 and then uh, I'll give you my final views back in the, the studio.
today we were running in the Nike Vaporfly 4% Gaiacuso. Here they are. Managed to get around about 6 miles in today on my run. But it was extremely windy. So it was very hard to make a true comparison really. So draw any real comparisons against the uh, standard Vaporfly 4%. Now you might ask me why, why do you want to do that? Well a good friend of mine, uh, Kev Burton, he has got a marathon coming up this weekend and he's got a pair of the original Nike Vaporfly 4% which he's got about 100 miles in, same as these guys here. Um, so he was asking me should he wear those, tried and tested over 100 miles or should he go for a, a new pair, he's got a brand new pair in the box. So I thought Let's take these guys out and figure out whether they are going to do the job for him or not. So, how did these feel out of the box? Well, I took them on a uh, a bit of a winding country style route. Um, quite a bit of elevation, I think there was about 650 foot of elevation in total. Um, there was some straights, there was some hilly areas. But the big problem for me today was wind. There was loads and loads of wind. It made it very difficult to get any sort of sustained pace. Um, I found it really hard, probably one of the hardest runs I've done in weeks actually. It was really tough going up and down those hills. Um, how did these guys hold up? Well, they held up really well. I did have a slight problem, as noted in the uh, earlier footage, with this kind of heel counter area here. Uh, a bit of slipping going on. Once I'd retightened the shoe, that was absolutely fine. I didn't have any issues there. It does feel to me, I don't know whether this is just me, whether it's a placebo effect, um, a softer shoe. Certainly this area around here in the toe box, the fly knit seems a lot softer uh, just above your toes. And there seems to be a bit more structure around the very edge of your toes, around the outer sort of section here of the, the front of the shoe. And certainly through the um, arch area and the other side of the arch, it just seems a lot softer to me. I don't know whether the fly knit's different whether, whether it's something to do with the patterning um, on the side here, but it does seem an awful lot softer to me. Um, the heel wet counter area, again, I, th I think I got a better lockdown actually against the standard Vaporfly 4%. It did seem a lot better to me. Um, obviously with this shoe being brand new, um, it did seem an awful lot stiffer than the uh, pair I've got 100, 110 odd miles in. Um, it does, did seem a lot stiffer when I was able to. I got a lot more of that sort of toe off, that push um, feeling from this shoe. So I think perhaps after, I don't know, maybe 60, 70 miles up towards 100 miles, that the 4% the, the does start to lose some of that kind of uh, stiffness um, from the carbon fiber plate and the foam. As a direct comparison, I think the pair that have got about 100 miles in felt just as springy in terms of the Zoom X foam. I didn't really feel any significant difference there in these new ones and this new pair. But I certainly feel that the um, carbon fiber plate gives you more push earlier in the shoe's life. So if I was going to recommend anything to Kev, I would probably say, yeah, if you're going to run a marathon, I would run it in the new in the new pair of uh, Vaporfly 4%, that would certainly be my recommendation. Again, talking about the um, how soft the uh, fly knit is in this new pair, I think these are slightly different. I'd love to get some proper data and information from Nike, if there's a source out there, if anybody knows. But everything about the upper of this shoe seems softer to me than the um, standard 4%, uh, the originals, here they are, in the bright crimson. Um, this just seems harder, I, I don't know, certainly around this toe box area here, this just seems an awful lot harder to me, uh, stiffer, there's more rigidity there, um, I certainly really enjoyed running in these, um, they were they were fantastic, uh, I had no issues, feet feel fine, no, no blistering, no um, soreness of, on my feet, um, so First run, very impressed with these. Um, the colorway does look absolutely fantastic, as you saw in some of the uh, earlier footage, some of the pictures. Uh, it does look really fantastic. 
and also I think that they don't kind of stick out quite so much. Um, it's very clear when you're running in the bright crimson version of the Vaporfly, people can see you miles away, um, but with these they don't seem to sort of stick out quite so much. Um, they're not as bright and loud and leery perhaps, um, so I'm really happy with these. Very glad that I've hung on to them. And they seem to be quite a rare shoe. There aren't many of them around, even on StockX. There are very few being sold or at least up for sale. Um, so happy I've hung on to these and uh, should be putting a lot more miles into them in some race situations. And I'll give you some future updates on that when that happens. Hey guys, that's all I've got for you today. Please hit that subscribe button and thumbs up like any of the videos you particularly enjoyed. And I'll be seeing you.